Hello and welcome back to Nightcap Crafting. So I'm dropping in tonight to do a, um, sorry, trying to put my phone down here. Got my timer going. Um, to do a, so first of all, welcome to all of the new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here. Welcome. I think maybe I'll do a 100 subscriber giveaway. We're only three people away from there. So, um, I think by the time we get over a hundred people, um, will give me enough time to, um, have been back from vacation and had some time to figure out what exactly I'm going to do for the giveaway. I don't know yet, but it will be good. I promise. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I thought I would drop in and do some October, a quick October, October daily flip through where I am now. I will, um, do some quick drawing with you and kind of my thought process behind what I've been doing for Inktober. I've got a glass of iced pumpkin spice Bailey's. Tis the season. It is the drink to drink. For me anyway okay so here here we are I've got my little tassel um, I don't think I showed you this I had it done last time but I don't think I um, showed it to you guys and it's just some store-bought chain with the doodads that I showed you last time the bones and the you know body parts anatomy whatever and some just things I had laying around and some Halloween colored ribbon and some whatever what do you call that lace stuff and so this is where I'm at now um, I apologize for this glare here um, my light might actually crap out on me it's been doing weird things so it might go dark for a second so um, I've got a sweet little envelope I attached here with a cute artist trading coin that my friend Shannon sent to me thank you Shannon and this sweet little embellishment that my friend Jan made for me, this little envelope. So I just punched them with my um, special punch thing here I've showed you in past videos. And added pictures, my favorite bush in my front yard turns this bright, fiery, aptly named burning bush this time of year. I've added things, a couple of things to my pocket. I've got my prompt list and I've got a cute coloring that my son brought home from school for me. And I've been adding my Inktober um, challenge stuff in here. Mostly in here. So I've had a couple in my regular journal, but I've been doing them mostly in here. This cool foliage picture that I found on a walk through my um, through a shopping center by my house. I'm not going to explain every little thing. Let me just let me just stop. So I'm just going to do a flip, like I said I was going to do. Pictures of some decorations. Going to add something here because what I'm finding is that I really don't like having the blank pages. So these have become kind of catch-all pages for something because some days like this day I only did my drawing for my October daily entry this one <clears throat> excuse me I added this little card that my son drew a picture for me um, this was another just added bit I wrote about the legend of Sleepy Hollow and how much I love that movie and the legend and how I remember going to Tarrytown as a kid the original Sleepy Hollow where the story was born this is the winery where I work, so we've got things fermenting. It's the time of year for that. I got some happy mail. I've got a picture I added. More pictures. We had some kind of spooky, foggy weather recently. I don't think, oh, I did add. Added, oh, got my toes done yesterday. This was a Happy Mail envelope. I can't remember if I mentioned that in the last video. 
This one I just punched out, and I think this is where we're at for now. So this gives you, and so what I have found, and we'll kind of go through this um, soon, but I'm not necessarily using the pages in order. I will use, if I have a drawing that I'm adding, or whatever stuff I want to add, I can go through. That's the beauty of this this type of ring base system. If I want to use this page today, I can just pull it out and move it to the front. Voila. So that's where I am with this. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I like it a lot. I like being able to add all this stuff. Let me put this to the side. So the um, word for the day is cruel for Inktober. And what I had originally come up with was I was just doodling and I was trying to give her these kind of mean looking eyebrows. She's looking very 50s, kind of Wilma Flintstone slash, I don't know. Well, actually what I was thinking was she kind of reminded me of Mommy Dearest. Have you ever seen that movie? If you haven't, you should. Joan Crawford. So then as I was kind of playing around with images how to make her look crueler, I thought, oh my god, she needs Joan Crawford eyebrows, she needs the severe Joan Crawford mouth, kind of, so this is where I was playing with this look. I went on Google Images to kind of get a better reference. So, oh, she's kind of 90, 1950s Barbie, too, that's what I was thinking, and I kind of like her as she is. This is supposed to be a bun. P.S. I actually dressed up as Mommy Dearest for Halloween probably, probably 10 years ago, so I drew my eyebrows like super, super thick and dark and wore like the red lipstick, and I wore kind of a, a swanky um, bathrobe and I had my hair back with a hairband like she had in the movie, and I had a wire hanger <laughs> as my prop. Most people didn't know who I was, but I enjoyed it. I still have that bathrobe. So anyway, I think I'm going to keep her as she is because I, I like her. This is supposed to be a little bun with a bow. I don't know. I am, I am no drawing expert. So I'm going to do a quick doodle here. Um... And you can kind of see my my process, and I will paint her too. I've been doing all using all sorts of pages in here to. I'm really loving the dictionary page thing. So I'm gonna go and do her eyebrows again, but I'm gonna make them darker. I'm gonna do a very similar look. I'm gonna make her eyelids a little less nice looking then kind of more um more squinted shut i guess for lack of a better room some little angry brow lines there i like the nose like that and then am i in camera okay um her lips are more flat and rounded we'll do a little downturn and I think I kind of like that kind of 50s hair. I think I'm going to keep that because I do like that. And also Joan has these kind of apple-y, I don't know if that's the right word, prominent cheekbones, I guess you could say. And we got to really, we got to really thicken these bad boys up. She had a strong brow, that lady. I will, here, I'll pull up, pull up my pictures, my reference pictures on the phone real quick. See what I'm saying? Now, I, I am not a portrait artist, so here's the headband I was referring to. <laughs> So I kind of went with that look for my my mommy dearest Joan Crawford. It's really a sad story, honestly. I mean, you know, there's if you're very sensitive to um, child abuse, then this might not be the movie for you. Um, oh, I should have made a bigger swoopy. Maybe I'll give her. A double swoop. 
Oh no, I don't like that at all. You done messed it up, girl. Okay. That's what I like about having this dictionary page thing going on too, is like countless pages. And the reason I started doing it was because I ran out of sketchbook paper and I was like, crap, what am I gonna use? And I've used dictionary pages for things in the past. I was like, why don't I do that? And then I really liked it and had fun with it. So I did get some new ink, or ink pads, yeah, um, sketch pads. But I'm kind of having fun with this. She's not looking very Joan. Well, I guess I gotta make the, gotta give her the brow. This is high pressure, you guys, to be actively drawing while filming. Why well, I screwed up her, screwed up her hair. Okay, so let's do swoopy swoop, swoopy swoop. Give her some hair over here. Give her some hair over here. She's got tiny ears, huh? Give her some earrings, and I like a little bun. Let's give her a little bun, and maybe we'll give her some pearls, because she's fancy like that. So, yes, this is probably as close as I'm going to get to old Joan. Um, yeah, definitely Barbie for that one. So, now that I've got that, oh, and also, this is going to be a little experiment while I'm on camera here, because these are, um, sorry, just checking my timer, these are water-soluble. This one is not, this is what I have been using, but it's running low on ink. So, I'm going to try to not make um, a smeary all mess, or maybe I could... Maybe I could try, oh yeah. Maybe we'll just do a black and white. Maybe we do no color. I was planning on doing some color, but I think given this pen, I can't, or this marker, I can't really do that. So we will make this a black and white. So, it does work real nice on this dictionary page, though. I mean, this, I don't know what kind of paper this is, but they make it really nice to kind of draw and work on. Um, I'm debating if I want to just go ahead and give her a red lip, because I love a red lip. Let me grab my marker. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have these reds. Oh, this was more pink. I think I'll do this one. And I don't know. What do you guys think? Does she look, does she look mommy dearest enough? Just gonna give her a little bit. I'm just gonna. Let's give her some. Whoa. Trying to give a little shadow. We're getting a lot of shadow. Um. I don't know, I think I kind of like her just like that. Because then you run into the problem of just not knowing when to stop. And then you make a big old mess out of it. Okay, Joan's going to go over here. I might touch up something later after the fact. But that's kind of my general base. And if I had more time, I literally just thought of the Joan Crawford thing like a few minutes ago. 
before I started painting or before I started filming. Let's see, is my camera still going? Okay. So given that she's going to be very black and white and red, I think, oh, and I also have, I'll show you. So I took my youngest, because he did not have school today, to the pumpkin patch. So I have my little flyer they gave me, a selfie I took with some sunflowers, a cool picture of a spider web with dew drops on it. I had no idea. I couldn't tell if the picture came out or not when I took it, but I went for it. And after I got home and looked at the pictures, I was like, oh, that came out really cool. And then there's me and my boy. My youngest. So I'm going to add those in there. Not sure how yet exactly. Um, ooh, spider webs maybe? Spider webs in the picture, spider web paper. It's mostly black. Maybe that one. Or maybe this one with the stitching. Um, yeah. I think I kind of like that. Or maybe this one. No, I think I'll do the spider webs. Um, or, well, how about this? Let me cut her out and see how she looks on the actual paper. So, I hope you guys are participating in either Inktober or keeping an October daily. Um, I ha I'm really proud of myself for actually making it, what, 11 days now? Into, uh, into Inktober. This is my third year attempting. And I think this is the farthest I have made it. Um, so I'm really trying to push myself and make it the whole month. And so I'm going out of town on Saturday. I'll be gone for a week. I'm going to visit some girlfriends. We're all having a, a meeting art fest in Alabama. And so I pre-drew or kind of got the beginnings of some drawings of things so that I have pictures or drawings prepared while I'm gone so that if I don't get around to drawing or whatever I have something I can post still and there's a little bit less pressure because dang it you guys I'm like really wanting to make it through this month let's see see now I see I can't really use that because it well I mean it might blend too much let's go back to the spiders spider webs. Yes, I like that a lot better. So, and and something I have learned so far using this book this year, when I do my October daily again this year, I am going to um, get paper that is mostly light colored backgrounds or not overly patterned because it does take some thinking and messing around to write on some of these, especially the ones that are kind of shiny. Now I'm using this paper because it's what I had and I wanted to use up my stuff. But planning ahead for a few months, um, lesson learned to have my base paper be less patterny and dark. Patterny? Is that a word? Probably not. And I've also been with my label maker. Adding my dates, all my dates, with my label maker. So let's see, how am I going to add all this? First, I think I'm going to stick her over here because that just makes the most sense to me. This, this video might stop and then start if it stops recording and I haven't realized. Um, because I think it has to do with the amount of memory that's on there. So sometimes I'm blabbering away when I do longer videos. I don't do too many of those, but it has stopped recording and I don't realize. I'm like, crap. Then I got to go back and see where I left off. And I don't have a ton of time to be... Am I smearing? I don't have a ton of time to be messing about because 
Tomorrow is my last full day here before I fly out Saturday morning and I don't have time to do crazy editing and fix stuff. And I'm also not an expert at that, so. All right, Joan, let's stick you here. Maybe I'll even add a little um, Mommy Dearest tag here along with my date. And how am I gonna write on there? Let me try, whoops. My, sorry, I don't have all my stuff handy because I don't do my journaling at that table. So I had to like move all my crap over here. So I've been using, these have been my friend, these paint pens, the Posca markers. This will probably come on focus. This will probably uh, draw on this paper. And I also have the jelly roll, which is works beautifully. I'm sure you know on these dark papers. So what I'll do to test this out is I'll draw a little border around here and see Oh yeah, I can write on there. I think that's gonna work. That's what's fun, I think, about doing this. I mean, any type of journaling, but the October daily and December daily journals, I feel much more liberated to like, I don't, it doesn't have to be a straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know? And when you add these pictures, like I have been, I have a, a Canon selfie that I print right at home. It's the greatest invention ever. I have extra journaling that I can do on the back of the um, picture. So I've been doing a lot of that. I might use one of these in my journal for today. Um, <laughs> I did a Killer Clowns from Outer Space drawing. So these feel too nice to go in there, but I do like the spider web. I'm gonna do the spider web in here. So I will punch like so. And my corn maze and my silver cording I am. Oh yeah, so for the giveaway, I should probably think about that, but um, what you can do is just comment on the video, anything you want. I don't care what it says. We can make it international. I want everyone to be included, shipping and handling be damned. And um, I'll do a random drawing, um, I guess at the end of the month. And then you will get a prize of something. Not sure what. It will probably be journal arts and crafts related. It will probably be somewhat Pacific Northwest related because that's where I live and I can send you some treasure from here. Yeah, I like that. Do I want to add washi? I added, I brought my whole this and let me get this water out of here before I make a mess. I did just see clumsy old me knocking my hand into that. That'd be nice. Okay. Let's move this. And nice Barbie. Sorry, Barbie. You were not cruel enough to make it into Incto Inktober. Um, washi. Do we want to do washi? I've had washi on pretty much... What to the pumpkin patch today? Let's put some pumpkins on here. Pumpkins, what else? Spiders, spider web. I'm so close to being done with this insect washi. So I'm wondering, maybe what I'll do is I'll throw a few decorations on here. Then I will I'll stop it so that I can do some writing because it's going to take me a minute to figure out what I want to do. Then I'll come back and have show you the finished page. Sound good? Okay, let's do that. Okay, I'm back. So I realized I had to take my paper out because I was moving 
my paper to a different spot. So here's the end result. I just wrote a little bit about the movie and how I used to call my mom Mommy Dearest when I was little, when I was mad at her. <laughs> the, um, the main bulk of my, um, I, we did a lot today, so that's going to go in my main journal. But this just kind of highlights um, the Inktober challenge. And also I did write about the trip to the pumpkin patch and farm. So I've got that there. I may add, we'll see once I get my other journaling done, I may add one of these other photos in here with this, but I don't know yet. And of course, my maze brochure, they change their theme every year and this year they were doing the Sunflower Jubilee, so that's why I have these. I cut my own sunflowers. And this year's maze is Who is Your Hero? And they've got Wonder Woman, an army, an army guy, military guy, um, and a police officer. How cute is that? And then we didn't go through the maze, but maybe one day we will when the boys are older. Too muddy today, and my three-and-a-half-year-old was not really into that portion of it. So anyway, so there you go. So that's kind of my thought process for when I do this. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to, um, I'll put something on the title page about the giveaway. Uh, make sure you comment on this video to be put, um, get your name in the random drawing. International folks, welcome. I welcome you and I will see you next time. Cheers.